let's see now the reaction. What happens in this reaction? Uh, primary or secondary alcohol gets converted into uh, various other functional groups. Uh, for example, est esters, phenylethers, thioethers, and some more. Okay. And uh, there is a reason uh, why only primary and secondary alcohol has been written here because this reaction proceeds uh, via SN2 mechanism. So the mechanism is followed is SN2 and only um, primary and secondary alcohol undergoes SN2 reaction. Uh, tertiary tri uh, majority undergoes SN1 reaction. Okay. So the one factor that is uh, associated with SN2 reaction is inversion of the configuration. So here on the product obtained will be will have an inversion of the configuration. So you will have some substitution here and the substitution will be your nucleophile. Let's suppose we are taking a Acetic acid here, so you will get a product in a similar fashion. You will have a this will be your product. Now, let's see what are the other things we are taking PPH3 and that. This this or everybody knows this dead. What is dead? It is diethyl azo dicarboxylate. Okay. So what will be the structure of this? This is our azo. It has This is our compound that now what happens this long pair will attack the nitrogen and they will be shipped in the double pair. and you will get a product like this have charges so this one this nitrogen will have negative charge this phosphorus will have positive charge now what happens this zwitter ion plays a very important role in this reaction this zwitter ion will facilitate the removal of proton from the nucleophile okay so um what happens this is your acetic acid and this negatively charge will remove this and you will have this will form acetic ion this will be for, um, this will be eliminated as acetate ion and what will happen to that what will happen to our dead molecule Nitrogen will obtain a proton. Okay, and along with it, this will have a positive charge and it will have negative charge in this case. Now, what happens? Your primary or secondary alcohol, whatever you are taking, will bind with this. Alright? So let's suppose uh, we write it in the form of this. Then what you have? You have OH. So what 
will happen, it have a long pair of lap prong that will try to bind with the post folds and it will form a product something like this not product, an intermediate something like this nitrogen most things, nitrogen EPH3 In this case, this oxygen will have this action and it will dry down the remaining structure. Okay, now in presence of the base, you are taking base, some base comes and abstracts this proton. So, this this electron pair will shift here and form a double bond and this will leave the, the, this entire group will leave alright so what is exactly forming here is uh, I will make a dotted line so what is leaving This is the leaving group. This is, and we will be left with and then this oxygen will have a positive charge. Now you will say why why this oxygen have a positive charge when it is losing a proton here. But if you will see, the, it is not exactly losing a proton. What is happening? The lone pair of electron here, it is shifting here. There is a shift of uh, bond pair. So this oxygen atom is, at, even now it is forming three bonds, just like the previous condition. So here, now what will happen? You have you have this group okay and we already had the acetate so these these will react together and this oxygen or you say this nucleophile will attack this carbon atom and this whole group will be leaving and I will again draw dotted line around this so this group will be leaving here and what you will get because this this acetate group is attacking from the behind and it is an SN2 mechanism so you will have uh, inversion of your configuration so the product form here will be solid bond and you will have oxygen attached to carbonyl group and that. So this will be your product and this will be side product. So what is happening here is you are getting from a secondary alcohol you are getting an ester and there is inversion of configuration all right so depending upon the different uh, type of nucleophile you are taking this reaction you will get different products so in this reaction what is basically happening your primary or secondary alcohol is getting converted to the ester with an inversion of configuration